Everyone knows what batteries are, but what would you think if I say Elon Musk is making a monstrous battery that can last up to 28,000 years? The idea of converting waste into energy. What about nuclear waste though? And what if this nuclear waste could be used to power a battery that ran continuously? How much energy would it take to recharge it? And most importantly, how much time? Recently released Nuclear Diamond Batteries NDB, are being snatched up in large quantities by some people. Would it surprise you if Elon Musk, the richest man in the world and a tech titan, was among them? Musk, after all, has already made suggestions regarding this type of energy source. Could he be considering using the NDB in the future with his goods? Wait until the very end of this video to get the answer. You wouldn't ever need to charge a basic item like a phone or laptop if it were powered by one of these. Think a little bigger though, perhaps a spacecraft. This battery has the potential to revolutionize both the technology we use on Earth and in space, including future autos and life-saving medical equipment. But it's not flawless. The NDB has restrictions, just like anything else. First of all, if it's implanted in the equipment, it will be difficult to remove and expensive to create. Most importantly though, it would produce a radioactive byproduct that would be hazardous to dispose of. University of Bristol scientists, physicists and researchers began working on a radioactive diamond battery back in 2016. It was referred to as a beta voltaic device, which indicates that it is powered by the beta disintegration of nuclear waste. This idea teaches us that when an atom's nucleus has several particles, some of them are released to maintain a stable protons to neutrons ratio. They refer to this process as beta decay. In essence, it generates beta radiation, ionizing radiation that comprises several beta particles, also referred to as positrons. You'll obtain a battery that lasts a long time because it won't need to be charged by plugging it into a power source. It will be exposed to beta radiation for a very long time, allowing it to recharge itself for a very long time with little to no noticeable deterioration. The lifespan of a single NDB battery is up to thousands of years, not just a few hundred. That's incredible. What do you think? Are you enjoying our video? Please click the subscribe button and give it a like after that. It significantly assists me in expanding the channel so that I can offer you the greatest tech content. Nobody handles energy conservation better than Tesla and Musk, which is why we're concentrating on them. The industry frontrunner for the switch to electric cars is Musk's car firm. There must be a better option than the lithium ion battery that now powers Tesla's vehicles, which is the same type of battery found in your phone. Let's get practical by comparing this battery's lifespan with our daily used products. This will give you a better understanding. The NDB battery's usable life as a car battery is predicted to be 90 years, which is much longer than the average lifespan of any vehicle. One battery could theoretically power many wheels. According to the company, a consumer electronics battery for a tablet or smartphone should last nine years. Now, it's time for some additional information because it's my duty to give you the rightmost and most explained information. A battery is, at its most basic level, a piece of machinery that functions by transforming the chemical energy it stores into electrical energy. The transfer of electrons from one material, the electrode, to another, which occurs in an external circuit, is necessary for the chemical reactions that occur in a battery. Electron movement generates an electrical current that can be used to carry out work. On the other hand, the diamond battery is a beta voltaic, which is similar to a photovoltaic solar cell. It transforms beta radiation into electricity as opposed to turning light into electricity. A typical beta voltaic cell is made up of layers of semiconductors sandwiching thin layers of radioactive material. When nuclear materials disintegrate, beta particles are released. These particles subsequently collide with semiconductor electrons to create an electrical current. The power density of the radioactive source decreases with increasing distance from the semiconductor it is being tested against. Additionally, beta particles are randomly released in all directions. A tiny fraction of them will reach the semiconductor, and a tiny fraction of them will be transformed into electricity. This is due to the fact that beta particles do not go straight. Nuclear batteries' efficiency is hence much lower than that of other battery types. For this, PCD, also known as polycrystalline diamond, is employed. 
One of the hardest substances that human civilization has ever found is diamond. In actuality, it is even more durable than silicon carbide. In addition, it has the ability to serve as both a semiconductor and a radioactive source. Therefore, you may develop a battery that has a long lifespan and does not require recharging if beta radiation is applied to it. It can sustain its own charge indefinitely thanks to the radioactive waste that is housed inside it. The process utilized to create an artificial diamond for the batteries is known as chemical vapor deposition, which uses C14 methane and hydrogen plasma to create diamond sheets at high temperatures. Because it is composed of incredibly thin layers of large crystalline grains, the diamond used in the battery is far smaller than the diamond seen on rings. The other goal of this multi-layer construction is to prevent radiation from escaping and lessen the risk to people's health. When utilized near or even within the body, they don't endanger people. The cost barrier created by the method is first noticed by NDB. Unique diamonds need expensive and energy-intensive manufacturing process. Diamonds are commonly employed in the fabrication of electrical components because of their high heat conductivity. They are the most well-known naturally occurring heat conductors and are three to four times as efficient as copper or silver, according to a report published by the College of Engineering at the University of Houston. Blue diamonds may be discovered naturally, but they are harder to come by and cost far more to buy than their synthetic counterparts. After being obtained, the nano diamonds are combined with radioactive isotopes made from nuclear waste. They are produced using radioactive isotopes of uranium and plutonium in particular. There, tiny square millimeter single crystal diamonds are employed to rapidly transfer heat away from the radioactively decaying isotopes in such a way that the exchange actually generates power. Diamonds with a conductivity level that is much greater than that of a regular diamond are the final product of the entire process. According to research results that were reported in the August 2018 issue of the journal Nature, blue diamonds are created in the lower mantle of the Earth, which is situated between 670 and 2,600 kilometers below the surface. As a result, blue diamonds are only discovered in three mines worldwide. This helps to explain why they sell for so much money, roughly $15,000 for a light blue diamond with a carat weight of 0.30 and $75,000 for a dark blue diamond with a carat weight of 0.25. While the most recent mentions of a nuclear diamond battery come in the wake of NDB and the University of Bristol in conjunction with arc and light research into the possibility of batteries. As more affordable lithium ion batteries became available on the market, the first generation nuclear batteries went out of style. However, the development and testing of beta voltaic cells progressed throughout the succeeding few decades. Regarding lithium-ion batteries, Musk has stated several times that the issue is with its processing later on, even though he has the resources required to produce all the lithium-ion batteries he would ever need. It is difficult to process lithium-ion batteries that are made of lithium carbonate or lithium hydroxide. Nearly half of the raw lithium that is mined is processed into battery material in China. In actuality, China produces almost 80% of the world's lithium-ion batteries. If China won't give up its control of the lithium-ion market, perhaps a different path to NDB might be preferable. Tesla's new Gigafactory has enough room to further this endeavour, and the company has brokered a new deal with an Australian company to source materials for its batteries directly. While numerous companies are showing interest in participating in the race to develop a nuclear diamond battery, it appears this use case is quite restricted at the moment, and the primary reason for this is that it has a significant disadvantage. Even though it can go for years without needing to be recharged, this battery only has a limited capacity for energy. Due to its low amount of power, it can only be used in relatively small devices that do not require a significant amount of electricity. This limits its applicability. Diamond batteries are currently capable of powering small electronic devices such as hearing aids and smartwatches. People who discover they need hearing aids at an early age would benefit tremendously from this because they would only require one operation to get the device and they would be able to use it without interruption. Elon Musk would be unstoppable if he had even a little amount of faith in NDB batteries. Tesla would be miles ahead of any other energy firm in the world as long as the worries around this nuclear battery are addressed and resolved while avoiding consequences. 
Although all of this sounds great in principle, putting it into practice is more difficult than it seems. Everything needs to be handled extremely carefully when discussing nuclear energy. This idea has the potential to fundamentally alter how we think about energy and sustainability. Perhaps it's past time to use smart energy with global warming growing every year, for both future generations and ourselves. Elon Musk currently possesses the means and obligation to carry the flame. What do you think guys? Do you believe an NDB battery can run a whole car? Tell us in the comments section below. We'd be interested in hearing your opinions. In every video, I do deep dives like this to learn the mysteries of technology and space. Click the subscribe button and press the bell symbol if you learned something new from today's video. See you in our next video. Stay safe.